Last lesson, we started looking at simulations. We discussed what simulations are, and we explored two simulations, a cooking game called Burger Time and Flight Pilot, which is a flight simulator. We also talked about how simula simulations present, represent real life situations and also imaginary situations. For today's lesson, we're going to explore three simulations. In your Google Classroom, I have posted three links for three simulations. One is hot air balloon, the other one is I do dog tricks, and the last one is car parking game. Now you are going to click on each link and you're going to play each game or explore its simulation. When you're done, you're going to open this document called Realistic or Unreal. And when you open it, you will get this, the tables here. So each simulation has its table. So hot air balloon, you're going to click and type how the simulation is controlled. How do we play the game? That's what you're going to type here. And then here, you're going to talk about what is realistic or what is unrealistic. Now, when you're talking about how the simulation is controlled, I want you to think about flight pilot. How it is controlled is how the game is played. When we explored flight pilot, we learned that the plane is flown by tilting your Chromebook or your iPod. That is how we control flight simulator called flight pilot. The fly, the, the aeroplane is flown by tilting the Chromebook upwards, downwards, and sideways. That's what we mean by how we control the simulation. It's basically how you play the game. And in this section, I want you to think about the game you've played and tell us what is real or what is not real. Remember again, when we were looking at flight pilot, we did say that it is real that when you fly the plane into a mountain, it crashes. But it was not real that we fly the plane using a Chromebook or by tilting a Chromebook. So choose one of the things you want to discuss, either something that is real or something that is real. You're going to do that for all the three simulations. So we have a table for each simulation. When you're done, you hand in your work. Just in case you're not sure what we're doing in today's lesson, we are controlling and evaluating computer simulations. The first task is you're going to explore three computer simulations, which I've shown you, and you're going to explain how they are controlled. And secondly, You're going to explain how each simulation is realistic or not realistic. So these are the two tasks for today's lesson. And we are learning to control and evaluate computer simulations.